Hello, everyone. Let's start with my presentation, which is basically about matching engine technology and order management system for crypto spot exchanges. So before I start, just a small brief. In the nutshell, what is an order manager, order management system? It's basically a technology that allows a buyer match with a seller. So, however, it sounds really simple, and I'm going to explain it in my presentation, why, which is not, and it's a very actually complicated technology. So, right from the start, let me begin with the technology, how it works. So, there are basically different two types of orders. There is a market order and there is a limit order. Of course, there are like stop orders, like trailing stop, there is a fill or kill, immediate or cancel, but it all comes down to two. And what in this technology, it's of course an order book formation. As you can see, I tried to represent it over here, where here it's actually top of the book prices and going further and further with worse prices. So for the market order, it's pretty simple. Once the market order comes in, it takes the base price and it basically eats the order book. So as we can see here, the price is like 28.96, 28.97, 28.98. If I'm going with the volume by eating the first level and the second level, this is what order management system does. It matches the buyer of the market order with the sellers that put the limit orders into the order book. And as you can see here, I ate full first level, I ate the second level, I end the part of the third level, which means that this level will now become the top of the book. And for the limit orders, it's pretty straightforward. When you're coming into the like Binance exchange, when if you're coming to any exchange, you're listing the terms under which you're willing to sell your assets. So, which means that the price and the amount. And uh, in here on the second and the first one, you can see over here that I am putting the limit order, which order management system will basically validate the price and put it in the order book accordingly to the terms of it. So this is pretty much like the basic definition of how the order management system works and how it formulates the order book. Now let's go further. The main keys and specifics of the order management system and uh, the matching engine inside the crypto exchange. So the first one is the data updates and the data storage. As you know, for the crypto exchange, it's all about the data frequency. You can see the order book is flicking every second. You can see the trades are being executed every second. And it all comes down to this, that the data updates, the exchange needs to be as scalable as possible. It needs to process millions and trillions of rows of data. It needs to store this data in the end because we are, for all the crypto exchanges, it's important, you know, for the regulation, for the internal usage, you need to store the historical data. You need to use it in order to formulate reports, in order to present it to your investors. So you need this data. And this is an enormous amount of data. We're talking about ticks. We're talking about the trades history. We're talking about, uh, like, the amounts of instruments that are being listed on the exchange. So this is a very big data uh, solution, very big data monitoring and processing. Of course, failed connection. This technology needs to be failure proof. And even in the case when the matching engine goes down, which means the ex uh, exchange itself goes down, you need to have the technology and you need to have the architecture in order to bring it back up from the moment it went down, in order to save this data consistency in the end complex price calculation. Here I'm talking about the pairs, for example, like the pair of two insignificant uh, cryptocurrencies or cryptocurrency plus the fiat currency. In here, it's basically the functionality of formulating the pricing and the order book based on the third price, which means the root asset, which is basically like USD or USDT, where you can check the two prices of uh, the first cryptocurrency to USDT and the se second cryptocurrency to USDT. And basically make it a pair based on this third asset. Commission calculation. Of course, for all crypto spot exchanges, it all comes down to basically paying the commission for end users to pay the commissions for their trades. And here I'm talking about commission recalculation during Every, every single trade. I'm talking about the tiers commission because a lot of exchanges supports, supports tiers commission. And I'm talking about like loyalty token commission. So this whole functionality needs to be inside the crypto matcher. 
hedging part. It's very important because this is the whole risk management system. You, as an exchange, you're listing so many pairs, offering a trading on those pairs. However, how are you securing yourself as a business from this? By hedging it on the third-party exchanges with the basically netting functionality or either uh, hedging it with like one trade per one trade per trade. And the uh, realized and unrealized pay now. Basically, the two main uh, terms for the traders, basically the realized, as you all know, it's basically purchasing and selling and seeing the real profit, the real profit in your hands. And the unrealized one is as if you purchase Bitcoin, you're seeing it, it grows, but you haven't sold it yet. So this is basically the profit you are not able to touch. And this is a very significant part of the order management system. So the key point of the crypto exchange it's this execution speed. And here I'm gonna to explain to you why exactly it is like this. Because based on the execution speed, you are able to offer clients to trade the exact amount of volume and the exact amount of asset by the best price possible. Because if I'm the end trader and I wanna exchange like one BTC or maybe like 100 BTC, based on the volume and based on the execution speed of the exchange, it will offer me worse price, which means the slippage in the end. And I'll be disappointed, I'll leave the exchange. And this is what it comes down to. Like the true institutional like exchanges, institutional vendors, they are like battling for milliseconds because this is the key point. Because in the end, this comes down to the offering the best price, the best order book possible with both volume, with both speed of execution, and with the frequency of the order book updates, of course. Uh, the potential losses, I believe it's pretty clear for everyone. The potential losses is for business, it's potential clients. And again, the worst hedging, because based on the execution speed and your hedging functionality, you may offer your client to exchange one Bitcoin for like 90K, but in the bear market with the execution speed, you will hedge it at 18, like 1,000. Uh, so you'll be in minus in the end. So, and again, and for the trader, of course, it's, it's basically the usage of the exchange itself. Like you are not able to consistently trade and uh, get the best uh, pricing because you're seeing the order book, you're executing a trade, and in the end, you're getting like much worse prices. All right, mathematics. For all of you, I believe it's pretty simple. You're coming to the exchange, you're exchanging one USDT, you are seeing that you will receive like 0 0.0005 BTC. That's all. Like you click a button, it's being exchanged. However, for the crypto exchange, there are multiple and multiple more functionality that's coming. And that refers to my second slide where I was talking, about, uh, talking to you about the data usage and the data updates. While the seller is exchanging, is matching with the buyer, the first, the crypto matcher is doing the pricing validation that the prices on the order book is, the, is still there. They are doing the balances validation. They are recalculating the commissions that the seller is going to pay, that the buyer is going to pay. They are recalculating the balances in the end. So because after the, the, after the successful trade, the balances will change. And the lifetime execution and recalculation of PNL. Now, that's the data usage of the, and that's the data updates, like a lot of data processing through the crypto exchange. And in the end, imagine if with one buyer, with one uh, buyer, I'm actually executing three sellers. So by this, I mean with the market order of like 10 BTC, I'm actually taking from the order book the limit orders of three other traders. Then we are multiplying this data flow by three and vice versa. More and more and more. Let's proceed. Now, for the exchange components. So those are mainly the most essential ones in the end. So as I was saying about the order management system, aka the trading platform, it needs to have, apart from the whole order management system, the open API to trade, to allow the end traders to trade through the API, the order management system as well with the matching engine. The execution and the back office. Back office, it's uh, basically for all the admin users to check the balances. I'll go through that in more details afterwards to check the balances, check the PLs, check how much commission was paid today, do some actions in the back office, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is all connected to the bit, uh, to the CRM system. Basically, the area where the end users will be able to register, will be able to pass KYC, will be able to deposit or withdraw funds and uh, start trading. 
on the on the crypto exchange. Marksman, the presentation uh, which was like held earlier, it's actually the crypto spot liquidity provider. So it's basically the aggregation of the spot liquidity and provision of the order book itself taken from the different uh, exchanges. And with the hedging functionality that I was talking before, basically allowing the business to hedge their risks against thousands and thousands of traders that are going to be trading on the platform. And of course, connected to the BitoCore system, there is a digital asset payment gateway provider, which means that if you want to onboard clients, you need to allow them to deposit funds, to deposit their crypto in order to fund their wallets and start trading on their exchange. So this is why it is directly interconnected with the BitoCore system, uh, with the CRM. Advanced user interface. So I was talking more on the back end in the previous slides. This is the front end for their users. This is basically what every exchange is selling to the traders. As you know, if you're uh, like in the movies and everywhere, it's all about the customization, it's all about the data entering the screen, basically. This is why I decided to, re to introduce, of course, the trading view chart, which is the representation of the, of the chart pair. Uh, your quick asset, so your balances plus your total, maybe something is on hold because of the limit orders, so you want to see how much you still have. A trade history, you want to see who is selling, who is buying, like what's, what's the dynamics of this pair. Uh, of course, the orders widget, which allows you basically to check the balance and open positions, limit, stop, market, uh, immediate or cancel or fill or kill, this is all about basically order placement. Order book. I mean, that's self-explanatory. And the open orders, filled orders, and uh, canceled orders, all about the data of what are your open and closed positions. So, and the key part about this is that this is customizable. So you can move this widget in here, you can move this in there, you can customize it as you want, you can do multiple workspaces in order to quickly refer to, the, to this pair or to this pair. So this is the key advantages of the advanced user interface. And of course about, I was talking more generically, now about basically the product that we are developing. And this refers to the two previous slides as well about the advanced UI and the components. So this is basically the infrastructure of the, of the matching engine, of the, like the, basically the heart of the trading platform. And of course, it all comes down to like, having the trading API, having the web UI plus the mobile application. Then you have the order management system, uh, order matching system, which comes down to multiple different types of services, like the alert service, the report service, because you want to have like, fully customized like, reports with all the data about the trades that uh, have been made, the alert service if something goes wrong, if the hedging fails or something else, uh, the market data server, plus the back office as well. And then there is a public and private API, of course, for the traders to be able to trade through the API. The whole thing is hosted on the AWS services. So in order to be scalable, in order if something happens and there is more traffic, it's pretty much automatically scaled higher and better. And yeah, of course, the key advantages of our uh, matching engine, it's that it hosts 10K plus open connections simultaneously with uh, 15,000 uh, requests per second. And 95% uh, of the trades are executed in less than 65 milliseconds. And that's what I was talking about, about the execution speed. It all comes down to being able to see the order book, do the market order or do the limit order, and actually see it's taking the order book or adding to the order book. Of course, 24-7 support with uh, zero point, and every second the order book updates twice. So like it's basically like this, constantly updating. Uh, all right, let's proceed. The back office system. So uh, you cannot go basically blind on the having your own crypto exchange, having your own solution, because you need to have people tracking 
anything with your exchange? What are the current balances of your traders? What are the current transfers they're being uh, doing? Or what are their current orders that they are being executed? Because based on this analytical data, you can see that what are the top trends? What are the bottom trends? What you need to delist? Which pairs you need to add? Of course, there are log system because this is technical stuff. You need to work with like people, with the admins to actually check what happened with the person. If he has a problem, to go and see how uh, like what what happened, what in this time frame with the exchange. The users, of course, like full tracking tables to check on their balances, to check on their uh, statuses, everything. And uh, of course, commissions. How much was paid per? asset per pair, like how much the exchange is actually making. And the PL, the PL calculation. As I told you, like those are one of the most important uh, basically parameters for the trading for the crypto spot exchange itself. Uh, all right, and uh, let me of course introduce you to our ecosystem. Uh, as you know, B2 Broker it's um, a liquidity and technology provider for uh, crypto exchanges, for brokerages, for margin exchanges, for uh, spot brokerages. So we provide uh, fully technical solutions integrated with the trading platforms and integrated with the financial solutions such as the uh, Prime of Prime multi-asset liquidity. And we provide it as a white label. So it's a fully branded solution, branded to your name, which we deploy in uh, like a couple of weeks. And uh, our purchaser only needs to take care of the marketing and uh, go into live version. So as you can see, we have the Bitcore, which is the CRM I told you about. Bitcore IB is a partnership program, which basically makes you makes the business uh, free marketing by introducing IBs, which are introducing their affiliates and uh, getting rebates based on their trades. The mobile app, of course, because you want to trade everywhere, uh, like in the airplane, uh, in the underground, like everywhere you go. Beta Trader, the trading platform itself that I was talking about previously. Beta Copy, it's a money management platform with the uh, functionality of copy trading, pump and mum, and social trading. And the Marksman, our liquidity hub for uh, spot liquidity, for spot exchanges, and for bridge to perpetual futures as well. Our own digital asset exchange, B2BX, licensed in uh, Estonia. Our our digital assets processing, which is B2B and pay, I was talking about as well, uh, with the two models of enterprise and merchant solution, which allows businesses to accept crypto payments fully done in house. Our digital banking service and venture capital fund, where we're trying to work with the companies and uh, invest in them, and the banking solution, of course. Our uh, main product, the Prime of Prime multi-asset liquidity, uh, seven types of uh, assets, forex, crypto, metals, commodities, crypto, CFD, indices, and of course the, uh, our white label trading platforms for MetaTrader, for CTrader, BetaTrader, and the liquidity hubs through with the liquidity solution through Primex M10, Marksman, and Centroid. So all of those are the components. And for example, as I was talking to you about the crypto exchange, if you want to open one, you just come to us, we give you Bitocore, we give you Mobile App, we give you Bitocore IB, Marksman, Bitotrader, and you're good to go. So, here are the links to our uh, social networks. They're pretty active. We're constantly uh, posting more and more videos about our company and uh, updates in the Telegram chat. So, feel free to use it. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much.